we're gonna do a session here. We haven't filmed for quite a while and um, it's early August. We're just getting to the point where we're gonna start bringing her back into the woods. Um, a few things probably that we've worked on the last several weeks um, in really, really small dosages, uh, you know, walking, just regular walks. Like, heel works really good with her. She's She's been real good. She's not as crisp as probably I'd like her to be. You can see she's a little sloppy with it, but she gets she gets it. And I haven't harped on her because I don't work her in heel position. Um, I'm finding that, yes, I want her to be understanding of heel. I don't want her pulling. She walks on lead really well. She actually works probably a little bit better off lead um, than on lead. To be honest with you, my confidence with her, she she gets she gets out a little bit on lead, and I end up bumping her, bumping her, bumping her. But heel. But I I feel like I can walk her around off lead probably better at, come on. It's not as crisp, it's not as perfect, but I don't think she's going anywhere. Like I just, I have a lot of confidence with her walking off lead. So I've been doing that more often. What I'm gonna work on today and show you is something that I have been doing a little bit with her on. And I'm still kind of kicking it around the sequence in my head because, it, and so I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about some woe stuff. Cause I just, ran the numbers on it. So she was eight weeks, January 2nd. So February, March, April, May, June, July 2nd, she would have been eight months. Yeah. So she's like nine months right now. So I feel like, um, is that right? Yeah. So she'd be, yeah, nine months. So I'm not steadying her on birds. I'm not gonna steady her on birds this year. I'm not gonna ask her to be steady on birds. I, I won't discourage it, but I'm not gonna get on her to, to have her be steady to flush. Um, obviously, I want her steady on the point. And, but my plan with that is to almost let the birds teach her that more than, more than me um, for this first season. I think as she figures out on wild birds how close she can get to them, that's, that's where I think that's gonna come. Um, and I think her instincts have proven to me to be really good. So that's my kind of approach with that. But at the same time, I'm going back and forth and well next year, when I start asking her to steady up or next spring maybe, when I start to take away that chase of the bird, um, how am I gonna do it, especially without a collar? And so I am leaning towards the idea of, well, start building it in. Um, an understanding of wool. So I've been working on that. We showed that in the past. We showed that when she was on lead and we were working off a of heel. I've, I've just continued to kind of expand it. We're in the yard. These are relatively, I usually do this in the evening. Um, I might do it once a week, um, maybe once every other week, but the birds are right there. The pigeons are right there. Th that is part of the distraction for her. Um, so that's a touch of realism to ask her to do something in a distracting area. The other thing is, is we've released all these pheasants over the summer. She knows there's birds out there. She, I have been resorted to at times putting her on a leash even to take her out to the bathroom because what she does run. She'll run off and hunt. And I'm not gonna discourage that either. It's here more than anywhere. It's it, the, from, a, from a negative or from like a bad habit thing. It's here because she's got a taste for what's out there. She always comes back. I have no concern with her running off and running away. It's she runs off and hunts, and I better have five, 10 minutes to wait for her to decide to come back. And I don't always have that. So I put her on a leash at times, take her out, go to the bathroom, do the business, go back in the house. But what I'm doing is trying to balance that idea of, okay, I wanna have control. I wanna work on stuff here. I don't wanna be on lead, but I don't want you being distracted by this wildness that you like to go run and hunt in. So that's been a little bit of a challenge, finding the balance. So I'm gonna start her out here. I'm just gonna work her on some wool. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna throw a couple dummies. Um, they're way less tempting than a bird. Um, but I'm gonna show you just, this is, of all the stuff I've watched on how to do it and w methods and wool posts and barrels and belly collars, neck collars, uh, check cords, all this stuff. I'm gaining a lot of information from all of that and then just try and figure out how it's going to work best for me. So um, I'm going to work here. I do not want to lose control of her. I might lose control of her. It may be good for you to see. 
Um, but my, my objective is to not lose control of her. When I say control, I mean where she gets so free that she decides to, I'm gonna go hunt for a little bit. So I, I, oh, I am gonna give her the opportunity to do it. So I've been doing this, putting her on this remote. Whoa, now that one was a really controlled one to start out because I was standing right next to her. I think she really understands this idea of, it's basically remote stay is all it is. Her feet don't move. It's just like if I had my lab and I told her to sit and I walked around her three, four times, had some distractions. I do think I can read her body language. Here, 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 here. Good, good, go ahead. Okay, not what we wanted from a wool standpoint, but not bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 good. So I'm just gonna train. Okay, so I'm gonna learn from that last one. What I really liked was the retrieve was good. And I was actually gonna talk about that a little bit too because we made some excellent retrieves this last week with her. Just like an old Labrador, set up memories and she did great. So let's get one thing done at a time here. Good. 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 Heel. Definitely body language in this for me. I make sure she hears the big diesel starting down there. That's got her attention. Good. That's something that used to rattle her. She's working through those noises. She's pretty good. Ah. Good. Again. What am I trying to accomplish? I want her to understand when I say, whoa, it means freeze my feet. I don't care if she looks, swings her head, and, but she can't move those feet. I think when the time comes that there's something to have attention on, her head will probably be on it. Heel, heel, good. I'm gonna have her work at my pace. I don't want to change my speed there. I've, that was pretty good because my speed, I turned, but my speed didn't change that much. Here, here, whoa, whoa. Good, good. I'm reading her to see how focused she stays because those birds just had her attention. Good. And this is like total yard work. Not, not a lot of pressure. You heard me get a little more intense with my command. I amped that up a little bit to stop her. Good. Good. I'm going to call her away from the birds and see if that helps me a little bit. Whoa. I got to be careful when I come in on her so I don't put too much pressure on her to move her. So I turn a little bit and back in. Good. Good. Heel. Heel. Whoa, whoa, good, good. Here, 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 come on, come on, da, 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 da. come on, come on, come on, come on, here, 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 good, good, whoa, good. Distracted. Good. Difference between that one and the first one was I'm in between her and the dummy. She showed me last time that if I throw it that way, she might break. Good. If she were to break, I'd be in between her and I'd pick her up, I'd cut her off, I'd say no, 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 and I'd put her back. Good.
Good. So I just, my whole point with it is to try to get this understanding about what behavior woe actually is. And that's just stop, stand still. Is this, would she woe on a bird? Not a chance. There's no way. But what I'm trying to do is prep her to make it an easier transition when there is a high distraction like a bird. And I, my hope with it is, is it prevents me from having to put too much pressure on, i.e. a collar heel. Because I don't, I don't plan on doing that. Good. Come on. I get a little enthusiasm in there. Good. You can see that gets her attention more. That's more tempting for her. You knew, you saw before how tempting it could be. Too tempting for her to resist that last one. But boy, it was beautiful how she picked up, brought it right back to me. Very nice. Here's that point where you get too close and you put a little bit too much pressure on it and you see her move. Oh. Good. Good. Good heel. Heel. Now we're going to take a little walk over here by these birds and you'll see her body language changes, everything about her intensifies. We're going over to the area where she gets to run. This is where I release her to run. This is very tempting to her. You notice I'm using that collar from the adjustable leader. I think that gives me an extra level of control. She feels the weight of that collar and thinks that I have her to a degree. Heel. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pick her up and put her right back. Whoa. That's exact, I didn't, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. I want her to understand I can't do that. We just, that's a lot for her. It's a big win right there. Good. Good. Heel. Heel. Good dog. Right here. Right here. Good girl. Right here. Right here. Come on. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Good. I'm going to call her to me one more time. Here, right here. Come on. Come here. Come here. I want her all the way to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Here. Whoa. Right here. Right here. Right here. Good. I could see there's, we're really close to her getting to the point where she's going, oh man, I'm going for it. I'm just going to run. Heel. I don't know if I mind you seeing that, because it does happen. I don't like to push her to that point. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. So a couple things that I want to do too is, I've recalled her to me and stopped her. Recalled, stopped, recalled, stopped. I think you got to balance that out with recall all the way in too. No different than my lab, I don't want them getting sticky. Makina, Makina here. Good, good. Right here, right here, right here. There's where she's showing me a little bit of, oh my gosh, I really want to just go. Heel, 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 heel. She's distracted by some scent stuff, heel. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Good, work right through that, very good. Here, good, come on. My pace is picking up, she's picking up. 
we're almost pushing her to a point where she's just gonna lose the control and then we'll ramp it back down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Oh, oh, oh. Good, very good. Atta girl. And that's good enough. Good. Really nice session. I'm gonna try, normally I wouldn't, but because we're here, we got the cameras and stuff. Just wanna show you guys, see if we can't do a little nice little retrieve. It could really, it could be really a dumb move because I'll just say this. Normally I say we're done. Put the dog up. Like that's a real nice win there. That's a nice little, nice little short session with good control. Um, I'm going to show you, we worked on these memories the other day at the cabin. And man, she did really well. She ran off on me once or twice out of about four once or twice out of four or five retrieves, but all in all, it was really good. Yeah. And I loved how she brought me that one really nice. So let's just see what happens. And if she screws this up, I don't know that it's the worst to show you. Good girl. As a good dog. Right here, right here. Ah, that, 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 that. Come on. Good dog, come here. Here, 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 here. Here. Let's go, let's go, come on. Atta girl, come on. Atta girl, come on. There, good dog, right here. Here, here, here. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Come on. Be ready to move, guys. We're gonna go down the driveway. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Come on! Wouldn't surprise me if she came back without the dummy. Yo, come on, let's go! That's a good girl, here, 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 right here, right here. Oh, 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 so just like I said, sit. Wouldn't surprise me if she came back without the dummy. So she got a, she got too amped up, too excited, too ramped up, too much freedom there. Heel, heel, so that's okay. So she did, I mean, I knew what she was gonna do there. Now, the other day at the cabin, we made retrieves up and down the, the driveway and she just did wonderfully. I didn't record it or anything. But that was the point of her boil over. Too much freedom, too much excitement, too much opportunity to just lose it. And probably pushed it a little far with what, what we were doing. I, she did a really nice job for me right up till that point. Now I don't think I can make retrieves with her over here because this is way too much fun for her to run in. Good girl. Good girl. So there's nothing more to be gained here today. But what I'll do is I'll find a spot where we can make a retrieve. Because I really, you saw the first retrieve she made. I think she did it because she didn't think, she didn't have enough time to think about it. She just reaction, picked it up, brought it to me. It was real short and easy. I'm gonna find a spot where we can do that here, kind of similar to how we did it up at our cabin. And then we'll do a little filming with that because retrieving is one thing I've done 
very, very little with, with her. Um, she does it really well inside the house and she does it really miserably outside as a rule, as a general rule. But just recently is when she kind of started doing pretty good. So, uh, and when I say that it was one time, so was it a, just lucky maybe, but I think she's definitely got it in her. She's just, she's so easily distracted um, that that is what we'll get nine times out of 10 unless we have the right setup. So if I can find the right setup, I think I can, I think I'm to the point where I can transition her to make some retrieves outside. Um, just gotta figure out the control part of it. And it wouldn't be tacked on to the tail end of a steadiness or woe session like we just did. That, that was really the primary focus, but got a little greedy and I think you should see that. Like I, that wasn't a surprise to me. Um, that's how you gotta handle it though. Like when things go to hell like that quickly, there was no way getting upset with her was gonna help anything. Um, it was 100% my fault and okay, no big deal. So um, really a good session and we'll go from there. But we haven't been filming that much and part of it is because we haven't been doing that much. But now as it becomes just turned August and now we need to start filming because now I need to start doing some more stuff. I ordered a GPS collar for her. We're gonna do a completely different um, episode on that, but we're gonna talk about that. I've got a dog that chases deer um, she runs deer. I've, I've run into it over the summer where she bumps deer in the evening and she barks and chases them. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, I've got a couple ideas on that. Uh, we'll have to address it. So we'll be, now is when we kind of are, my mind is going, okay, we went through June and July and they were kind of um, slumber months for us with her from a training perspective. A lot of walking, a lot of like, her freedom and, and her ability to run is big now. So it's, I just took a lot of that away from her and, and I still let her run, but only in certain situations. I didn't run her every day. I didn't run her at whenever she wanted to. I did it more, um, more strategically on my part. And we did a lot more control stuff and I don't think it took anything away from her. And we're gonna now go back to more running stuff, but I don't want her to run without finding birds. That's the other thing is, I feel like there's a difference between dogs that got good run and dogs that got good run and hunt. And I need to make sure that mine has good run and hunt. I just don't want a dog that runs, I want a dog that's hunting. And in order for them, I think, to figure that out, they're gonna have to be on some birds. They gotta be able to find them. Whenever she finds birds, after she gets done finding birds, whether they're planted pigeons, which we've done twice this summer, or they're wild birds, which she has found a few of those pheasants. She's in the spring, she found some woodcock, she found some grouse. Whenever she would find those birds, it, you had this, this layover of hunt in her that for the next week she really hunted. And then she kind of quit finding birds and then it turned into more just running. And so I, I need to get her back. I, I got away from that and I want to get back to the bird thing. And now the timing of the year is going to allow us to do that. And I think it's going to let us right, right into September uh, for hunting season perfectly. So to say I'm excited about this fall is an understatement. So there's an update on her and now we're gonna, you're gonna see some more consistency with her age-wise.